Hey, Mega GMs, you're back. You made it not just to Friday, but to another edition of the only show that gets you caught up on the NFT markets and the happenings in just five minutes a day. And there is a lot going on here. We've got a Blur Marketplace update. Fees might be coming. Board Ape Yacht Club members are more heated than they are bored. Multiple stories from across the generative art world. And man, some CryptoPunk stamps. Really cool. Yeah, another one of those days in NFTs. Those days meaning there's a lot going on. And we'll kick it off with a market update. Looking at the forecast 500 NFT index, we're up 0.46%. Nice to see on a Friday. For the month of October, we're still down 2.8%. We got some catching up to do if we're going to avoid this Floptober. Now, yesterday, we were down almost across the board here. Sales came in at just over 7 million. Unique sellers down, unique buyers down, total transactions down as well. Something that is up is wash sales, jumping from 4 mil on Wednesday to 7 mil yesterday. And the Blur Marketplace fees that we're going to talk about in a moment, that might be why. We're going to get into that. Let's quit Quickly take a peek at the top 10 collections on Cryptoslam.io. D-Market at the top. The reverse at number two, I don't think that's a legit collection. I'm going to look into that, so we'll skip it. Gods Unchained is next, followed by Winds of Yawa Nawa, Sorare, Draft Kings, Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Art Blocks, Other Deed Expanded, and I'll say Pudgy Penguins is the real number 10 here. So let's get right into our news about the Blur Marketplace, more specifically their token called Blur. That token's up 3.5% since yesterday, and that's because a proposal was submitted to change the way the platform works all to help the Blur token's utility. So Blur investors have proposed two things. First off, turn on a 1% fee on all sales, and those funds raised will be used to buy back more Blur and burn it, decreasing the supply and in theory increasing the price of Blur. And we know Blur has gained significant market share out there, becoming the most traded on NFT marketplace. Well, fees will impact that, so they're proposing that Blur token holders will get a discount on that fee, all the way down to a 50% percent discount on the platform fees if you hold 500,000 blur. Overall seems reception to this was very positive. This will have an impact on activity though, so I'll be watching to see if this drives some traffic right back to OpenSea. Now yesterday, Yuga Labs announced an update for their heavy metal game. Specifically, they launched a raid boss, but they also announced the reward structure for players, and let's just say they ain't happy. Here you have D Farmer really lighting them up. Talking about how much the community has spent on this game, 720,000 a Ape and how little those rewards are. In total, the rewards are 89,000 ape, and that 89k spread across all the reward winners. The top ranked player who finishes number one on the leaderboard, well, they stand to earn around $4,000. To your average person, that's probably a decent amount, but in NFTs, people are conditioned for huge rewards. Okay, tons of generative art news to talk about. We've got some tattoos coming from some of the world's top generative artists, and the coolest part is it looks like there's a new tattoo machine that's going to do these intricate designs. Designs. The new product is called Black Dot, and we've got some big name artists, including Tyler Hobbs, the creator of the Fidenza NFT. Well, he's designed a tattoo here. Now they're kind of pricey, around $10,000 for Tyler's art, and there's no NFTs associated with this, which would have been cool. Now, staying in the world of generative art, Snowfro, the founder of Art Blocks, has a new generative art collection coming from the Velocity series. That's from Red Bull and ByteBit. His new collection is not just an NFT, it's also a physical embroiderable pattern. So you'll You'll get these generative patterns and you'll also get a physical with it. I think I saw that you get a hat with this. Don't quote me on that, but here's the thing. Snowfro is dialed into something very special, which is giving people something unique that transcends just art. His chromy squiggle acts as your signature. That's right. At the bottom of your emails, you've got a digital signature that's unique to you from one of the top generative artists in the world. Now he's giving you a pattern that you can put anywhere unique to you in many ways, giving you generative art that becomes part of you. Now today, Kate Voss, FX Hash, Zancan Lemonade have put together an exhibition showing off some physical art. There's no screens here at all. No, instead, we're getting beautiful physical prints of art. Can't wait to see photos come out of here. Now, a quick reminder, we may get a surprise Zancan Mint today on Versum. He hinted at it earlier in the week. It's not a definite, but keep your eyes out. I'll tweet out if I see an announcement that a drop is coming, though. And I'm going to end on a really cool story. These little things are the things that excite me the most sometimes. How about some CryptoPunk stamps? Yeah, so one Warren himself has got a magazine he puts out. It's actually called NFT the Magazine. Now, I think this may have been hinted at at Beeple's CryptoPunk party when he made prints of CryptoPunks drop on paper from the sky. There's always a method to the madness with him. And while these aren't coming from the States, they're sure to be collector's items across the world. So there's your Friday updates. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another NFT market update. We'll talk about all the latest happenings. Remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.